Okay, so the first type here, okay, is the sailing vessel. These are this is under rule 25 sailing vessel okay under rule 25 it says that the sailing vessel underway shall exhibit uh, side lights and stern light right so but in cases where the sailing vessel is less than 20 meters in length uh, the lights prescribed may be combined into one lantern okay so and uh, so this side light is combined into one lantern huh? so these are the side lights okay combined in one lantern okay so first of all the vessel type is a vessel or called a sailing vessel okay okay so there's no work for the sailing vessel okay it's a vessel it's a sailing vessel under sail okay so the length shall be less than 20 meters okay for in order for the combined lantern uh, to be displayed okay so Okay, so less than 20 meters and the status is under sail okay this will be seen from the bow because these characteristics of lights are uh, having the same characteristic of the side lights okay so later we get into the, the side lights because the side lights we have a 22.5 degrees above the beam okay so seen from the front and what are the day marks for sailing vessel okay so Unofficially, the day, the day mark for sailing vessel at the sail is the sail itself. Okay, so the sail itself. Okay, so but of course, this is unofficial. Uh, the right answer. A more definite answer in terms of the regulation is the absence of the cone. Okay, where the apex pointing downwards, it represent the it represent that the sailing vessel is propelled by machinery. So the absence of that represent the absence of the cone apex are pointing downwards represent the vessel is under sail okay without using uh, machinery okay and uh, where can this uh, be put okay so is at the uh, near top okay where best can be seen okay so the fog signal for sailing vessel okay uh long one long blast and uh, one prolonged blast plus two short blast okay so let me get so the rule for this generally would be rule 25 okay Route 25 for sailing vessel. Okay. Um, rule 25 for sailing vessel. For less than 20 meters, this is under 25B. Okay. For combined lantern. Okay. Under sail. Okay. You are supposed to display that. And fog signal will go under rule 35C. 
Okay, for clock signal. So what are the actions when you see this uh, sailing vessel right ahead of you? Okay, first, we would uh, apply rule 7. Okay, so we're going to check for risk of collision. Okay, how we're going to check risk of collision is 1. The bearing between both vessel does not change. Okay, second, the distance is decreasing. Okay, so apart from that, in rule 7, it says that um, you should use all appropriate means to detect uh, the risk of collision so in short okay how do you consider there's a risk of collision is uh, bearing does not change okay a series of bearing taken between the two vessels okay if the bearing does not change or not appreciably change okay and the distance is decreasing then there shall be a uh, they shall deem to be said that there is a risk of collision so if there is a risk of collision what rule am i going to apply next uh, for my action to avoid collision okay in this situation i cannot apply the rule 14 head on because for head on okay for rule 14 head on it is between two power driven vessel okay so for hit on rule say when two power driven vessels so this is not a power driven vessel the sailing vessel and therefore i cannot apply the sailing uh the head on situation i will go to responsibility of vessel okay and i have a responsibility to keep up of the way Okay, because uh, in Rule 18 states that okay, a power driven vessel under way shall keep out of the way of a vessel not under command, vessel restricted ability to maneuver, vessel engaged in fishing, vessel and uh, a sailing vessel. Okay, that is the responsibility of me as a power driven vessel towards the sailing vessel. Okay, so how about the responsibility of the sailing vessel? The responsibility of the sailing vessel under uh, Rule 18 also states that the sailing vessel shall uh, the uh, sailing vessel under way shall keep out the way of vessel not under command, restricted ability to maneuver, vessel engaged fishing, okay, and uh, and that's all. So this vessel have no responsibility of keeping me as a power driven vessel out of the way. I have to keep. So by Rule 18 says that. I have to keep the vessel and then I need to apply the action to avoid collision. Okay. My action to avoid collision shall be of an ample time, uh, uh, largely enough, my evaporation of course, to be observed, visually observed by radar and by sight um, from the other vessel, uh, a good shipmanship. Okay. And the uh, in this situation, okay, uh, I've checked to avoid collision. My action will be uh, check uh, serum. Okay, traffic incoming traffic or traffic density. Okay, approaching traffic from the front or from the back. Okay, and any nav uh, navigational hazard, such as shallow waters, beacons, boys. A reef so my action okay my action is alter course to windward side of the
of the sealing vessel. Okay, windward side, wherever side it may be. Uh, I will check that side for the uh, serum traffic density and nemulation hazard. Uh, so one shot blast supplemented or maybe supplemented by a light signal, a maneuvering light signal, and I will alter my course. Okay. So the effectiveness of my action to avoid collision shall continue on until I pass okay, at safe distance. And continuously checking until she is passed and well cleared. Okay, and when clear, I will resume back my course. Huh? Let's plan. Okay, so the next one, and then the yellow light. Yellow light, uh, there's two yellow light incorrect described. One is flashing for the uh, non displacement craft, another one is the towing vessel, as uh, described in regulation uh, in rules, uh, rules three, rule three for definition of uh, no, uh, for definition of lights. Okay, so if that is the towing vessel, the towing vessel, uh, the towing light, okay. The towing light having is the towing light position is actually above the stern light, having the same characteristic as stern light. So we are seeing this from the stern light. We know that this is a towing vessel, and most probably this is also the stern light of the vessel being towed. So for the vessel type, a towing vessel is a power driven vessel okay so a power driven vessel okay engage in towing okay which is stern towing okay length could be any length because we're looking from the back there's no descriptive of the vessel length here status shall be underway and making way through waters seen from the stern now for the daylight now for the day mark from the front of the vessel the towing vessel itself okay the towing vessel shall display the diamond shape okay uh if okay exceed more than if the LOT is more than 200 meters length of toe okay and okay so this is uh, where best can be seen all right and the fog signal is the same there's a ceiling vessel one prolonged blast and two short blasts. Okay. And there is additional of one prolonged blast and three short blasts for the last vessel man. Okay. And again, this will be under rule 35. Mm -hmm. So this whole rule here, power driven vessel engaged in towing is rule 34 or rule 20, uh, let me see, rule 24, rule 24 towing vessel, okay, next one, 
analyze white over red okay could be the market light and signal light here so white red is white man uh, white man red nose that means it's a pilot vessel what is here this could be the stern light okay so a pilot vessel not necessarily be a power driven vessel so it could be just a vessel okay uh, engaged in pilotage right length could be any length status shall be underway because of the stern light and making way through waters okay seen from the stern okay for day signal or the day mark of a pilot or boat a pilot boat or a vessel having a pilot or engaging pilotage duty so is the hotel flag international code of signal hotel flag and the fox signal will be one long and four short so the rule for pilot vessel okay so it is uh, rule 29 okay pilot vessel ha huh. we haven't do this yet okay we get back to the second one here power driven vessel engaged in towing okay any line underway and making way to water see from the stern okay if this is not inside the narrow channel okay in the open sea uh, you come up uh, you are coming up okay stern of another vessel and happen that this vessel is a power driven vessel okay however is engaged in towing okay the rule apply again okay to check for risk of collision okay the characteristic or the factors considering uh, risk of collision okay shall be of above okay and secondly this situation okay is an overtaking situation okay involving two power driven vessel okay coming up or a power uh, or any vessel okay so rule 13 say for any vessel okay any vessel coming up with another vessel from direction of more than 22.5 above a beam okay or see the stern light so any vessel okay coming up with another vessel okay from direction more than two two point five degrees above a beam or by night you see the stern light okay so I am overtaking and how do I react to avoid collision for overtaking since I am being overtaking okay I will do my pre-check and I will decide on which side shall I pass this vessel because if this is not a narrow channel I can decide uh, just to pass on either side which is uh, more safe for me or convenience for me if this is a narrow channel I need to get the acknowledgement uh, from the vessel that I am overtaking so my action will be is that if this is a power driven vessel uh, this is a vessel being towed I would 
overtake normally from the starboard side okay or from the wind side okay uh, in this case right the vessel is this way okay and I'm here so it's advisable for me to be on the port side for this situation here okay so again after the pre-check, the post-check, and we are done. Okay, here, check for risk of collision, and since we are seeing from the stern, okay, this is an overtaking situation. Mm -hmm. and my action will be yeah, my action will be auto cost to step outside okay so let me see yeah. oh, the stand light is here And the white light is here. So I'm seeing this way. Right? So the vessel is proceeding here. I might want to overtake on her auto course to starboard side. Okay. And of course the pre-check and the post-check. Okay, so the next one. Identification. Red over white. Red over white will represent fishing other than trolling. A white light here represents outlaying gear and side lights. Okay. So the vessel, a fishing vessel not necessarily be a powder vessel. So just a vessel okay engage in fishing okay other than trolling length well there is uh, there could be an indication that this is a second mass light like, but the second mass light like will be in line with the mass so this is not a second mass so it it is a uh, vessel less than uh, 50 meters okay status will be underway and making way with okay the outlying gear outlying gear on her port side extending 150 meters okay seen from the bow of the vessel the day shape of fishing vessel is two cones with the apex pointing together okay being displayed at uh, where best can be seen of the fishing vessel okay and the outlying gear will be one black ball okay, and the fault signal will be of a sailing vessel or of a towing vessel which is one prolonged blast plus two short blasts okay what's the rule for this sailing vessel the rule for sailing vessel is 26 okay Uh, extra notes for sailing vessel okay since this is a sailing vessel that is underway okay what happens if this 
fishing vessel still engage in fishing, however, it is not making way. It is at anchor. Okay, so okay, so if at anchor it shall display it shall display the engage in fishing sign okay which is red over white uh, same goes with a pilot vessel okay so the actions need to be taken for meeting up with a fishing vessel, okay, having an outlay in here, meeting from the bow. Okay, so, we can't use the head-on situation here. However, first I assess there is a risk of collision. Okay, having it head-on, I can't apply rule 14 because rule 14 applies to a power-driven vessel. And... Uh, in that case, I will have to use uh, Rule 18, Responsibility of Vessel. And I have the responsibility as a power driven vessel when I made up with a fishing vessel. And I have the responsibility of keeping out of the way. Okay, so in that case, how do I uh, take my action to avoid collision? Is... Uh, I decide on which side I want to pass. Of course, I will uh, do my pre-check. I will decide where I want to pass, then I will do my pre-check. Okay. And I will alter course to the port side because it's more preferable to pass on the port side. Okay. Unless I have a very wide... Um, it's room on my starboard side, but uh, it's safer to go on the port side, okay? So, and then I will do my post check. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that will be it. Next one, three white light. This is uh, all around light, and this is mass it light, right? Mass it light of a towing vessel okay it first to represent engage in towing okay first to represent engage in towing the third one could represent that the towing vessel is more than 50 meters or the lot could be more than 20 uh, 200 meters since there isn't very much or uh, a lot of towing vessel that is more than 50 meters and then uh, pulling a uh, uh, an uh, object that is uh, less than 200 meters length in tow, it's more practical to say that this is towing vessel, a power driven vessel, okay, engaged in towing, okay. Probably because of the length, it's not nearby and side by side, it could be a stern. Okay. Length. Okay, now the length of vessel, I would just say that is less than 50 meters, with the length of two uh, more than 200 meters. Okay, that's how I decide. It could be the either. Status because of the side light and the mass head light, it is underway and making way through waters seen from the starboard side. Okay, and again, the day mark of a towing vessel is one diamond. Okay, and if more than 
200 meters LOT, two diamonds. Right. Done. So the fog signal, same as before, previously, two plus if man on the last one will be three. Uh, so the twin vessel rule is rule 24. Okay, done. I will check if risk of collision exists. If yes, again, uh, if I see the starboard side of the vessel, the ve that means the vessel is on my uh, port side. Okay. But uh, I cannot apply to the crossing situation first. Okay. Can I apply to the crossing situation? Okay. So this is a crossing situation. Okay. Vessel that has the other on the starboard side. Shall keep out of the way. Okay. So, <clears throat> by virtue, I am the by virtue, this vessel is on my port. Okay, so the towing vessel on my port therefore I am a stand on vessel ok this will be so as a stand on vessel under rule 17 ok Stand on is to keep my course and speed. Okay, so uh, and uh, maintain a continuous watch. Okay, okay for risk of collision and. I will give a warning signal of five shot blasts. Okay. And if the vessel does not uh, change the course, okay, a step on vessel shall not alter course to port, and therefore I shall alter start outside okay so best it to avoid collision okay do not alter to port next red light it represents a lot under command okay and these are anchor light so NUC plus anchor light is vessel ground okay so for vessel ground it could be any vessel right for vessel ground it could be any vessel Okay, not just a vessel, it could be any vessel. But vessel ground 
of interest putting all these lights if less they no need to put this light eh? so this could be a power driven vessel okay probably more than 50 meters why because of the two mass light okay so oh more than 50 meters okay initially the work is uh, so power river vessel uh, a ground okay this is status eh? so not making or underway because of a ground seen from ah, this will be your bow this is the stem okay so by that virtue this is a stower set okay mm -hmm. and the day mark for NUC is uh, for a ground this three black ball a black ball always says danger mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, like this, this is any vessel, okay, a ground for more than 50 meters. We need to put for less than 12 meters or 7 meters. Okay, she will not put she from several side. The fog signal is the anchor signal plus the three distinct stroke of the bell so in this case it will start off with the three distinct stroke of the bell and then the ringing of the bell for five seconds three distinct stroke of the bell followed by continuous striking of the comb okay for five seconds and three distinct stroke all in interval of one minute uh -huh. okay interval of not more than one minute okay so so this will lies under uh, for vessel ground is rule 30 okay and the fog signal will be under rule 35 mm -hmm. so if I meet up with a vessel of ground okay I will assess this of collision and depending on the situation so the next vessel is associated with the two mover so it has to be a power driven vessel okay work restricted ability to maneuver length hmm could be any length Or could be less than 50 meters could be more than 50 meters now these two lights okay this light is the REM light but these two light here tell you that it is a vessel restricted in ability to maneuver engage in underwater dredging okay the status shall be this represent dredging there will be another representation of the sidelines so it is a rank okay okay not making way seen from there wow and in daylight, this shall be represented by a, and 
the green one should be mm -hmm. diamond and two black ball fault signal is mm -hmm. this is under rule 27 okay RIM Oh, I haven't finished. See if there's a use of collision. If there is, okay, uh, we need to take action to avoid collision. Meeting up with REM vessel, bow, a power driven vessel with a power driven vessel, okay, head on situation. But I have a responsibility to keep clear of this vessel is under rule 18 okay so my action will be alter course to the green side what side okay Um, and of course, and do the rest. Let's start. Let's do. Work. Length. Less than 50 meters. See this? We making we seen from starboard side. Okay. This signal. Fish. Fox signal. Fishing vessel rule. 20 by 26 ROC with a collision action to avoid collision ok apply in uh, rule 18 for the vessel meeting up with a fishing vessel ok and Therefore, auto course this is power driven vessel. Oh no, this is just a vessel. The work is engaged in mine clearance, okay. and this is a restricted ability to maneuver vessel. Length could be any length. Status could be underway because of the stern light. Seen from the stern. The mark. Three black hole. Fog signal. Okay, so this will be under rule 27 also. Rule 27F. Three back ball, okay. A power driven vessel could be, could be not, okay. Work, hmm. Length of vessel more than fifty meters. Status underway. I'm making way to water. Um, vessel constrained by her draft. Seen from stop outside. V. 
thing this way. So this signal, cylinder, box signal. Okay. Rule twenty eight. Applying rule eighteen. Applying rule eighteen. Okay, that will be all.